Hey YouTube, this is Chorus, aka Corey P. Hold on one second for me. Ah, there we go. <laughs> but I am here today because I wanted to address some things that has been going on in the media. You know, just see, just to just discuss, just have a little kiki moment with me. Excuse me, y'all. I know I said I wouldn't eat on camera anymore. Well, I said it to myself. I didn't say that on camera that I would. But the bitch is hungry. So anyway, first things first, I want to say congratulations to Lupita Nyong'o, Nyong'o, I think that's how you say it, for her Oscar win. Yes, 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 for the black girls. Yes, for the dark, dark-skinned black girls. Just showing, up, showing the world that yes, dark skin is in. It has always been in. I don't know why you self-hating niggas and you, and you color-specific non-black people are just gaga and all these like. Not that there's anything wrong being light-skinned, you know. Because for me, all black is beautiful. You know, all brown is beautiful. All shades are beautiful. Black, brown, white. You know, you're you. God made you the way you are. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's it's refreshing to see that, you know, <laughs> she's got all these folks just googly-eyed over her. I mean, you can't help it. Like, the girl is gorgeous. Black skin the face, the bone structure, the body, the the fashion sense. The girl has got it. Like she has got that thing that makes people just want to just draw like look at her. Like when I see her, I'm just like, "Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. She's like this little ebony doll that you just want to play with." And not in a sexual way. Um but um yeah, you just want to dress her and just see her walk and just look at her and just like, "Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful." Like you just she's just a gorgeous lady. You know, so congratulations to her. I want to address the whole situation. I don't know if it, it's really made big, big headlines. Probably not because, girl, we kind of paid Densia dust after white niches. But Densia felt some type of way at her speech that she made during the Essence honoring black women, that whole thing that Essence does every year. Um, but they, um, she made a speech. And in her speech, she was reading a letter Lupita was reading a letter that she had received from a girl, um, from another black girl. I guess she was dark. Well, obviously she was dark skinned too. And she, the girl, stayed in her letter, and she was just reading it to the crowd. She was like, "I almost, like, until I saw you, I saw Den, you know, I, I was about to buy Densia's cream, and I was about to start the process of bleaching my skin. But then you came on to the scene and." you saved me like I just said you know what I'm beautiful because I see a beautiful chocolate girl and I'm, I'm beautiful so she was instantly validated like I am I can be beautiful because you know like like I said like the way Hollywood has just <sighs> just fixated on this girl you can't help it like I can't you can't hate on it but Miss Densia felt the type of way because she felt like it was a jab at her and her company white niches <laughs> and um you know she wanted to to get her together so she she went on this twitter rant and she you know tagged her lupita in it and she basically told lupita that the white man owns her because the white man is buying her success and da 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 da, da. and she said that the white man owned her and it was just like well girl first of all nobody owns anybody these days to see a girl sweetie we those days are long gone, honey. Those that that time and that era is long gone. That shit is you cannot own anybody. And furthermore, white people are not owning her. They might be paying her to do movies and you know make appearances, but owning her, no, they don't own her. God owns us, and she owns herself. But honey, nope, like white men don't own her. And furthermore, how dare you sit up and say something about how the white man owns her and you got a skin bleaching cream called what? White niches. So, if anything, honey, the white man might own you, but it don't own Lupita, honey. So, get your life for that one. Talk about somebody owning somebody. Like, how dare you? Like, girl, you got a skin cream called white niches. You bleached yourself from a beautiful chocolate brown to whatever the fuck that complexion is, that alabaster tapioca pudding off-white white. Like, I don't know what the fuck 
complexion you're trying to give, honey. But yeah, girl, like you bleached yourself, girl. Like you and you and you and you didn't get yourself a little dainty nose, and you didn't get yourself some big balloon titties, and all of a sudden, honey, you know you're this you're Pamela Anderson's albino mulatto sister. Like I don't get it. Um, and and that's fine. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. But I mean, don't get mad that there is a counter reaction to what you're doing like honey yeah you know you got girls running to the shelves to get light like you but you also have black girls and boys who you know we love the fact that we are dark and chocolatey and deep in our tones and we love it we are proud of it it took us a long time to get there but you know for some of us but for the most part we love it like i love my black skin I don't know about y'all. I love mine. My my skin is pretty. It's gorgeous. It's even. It's ch it's just the it's the color of chocolate. I mean, I can wear colors and they pop and they're vibrant on me. Like, bitch. I mean, you know, like get into it. Like, girl, boo. And for you know, so I just I mean, so then to your girl, stop hating. Stop being mad. You and your feelings. I get it. You and your feelings. You mad? You think somebody is trying to come for you? But really, girl, nobody's checking for you. I heard how at the Grammys you got mistaken for Nicki Minaj, though. Ooh. Um, and that's kind of an insult to Nicki. But anyway, but it's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. Um, what else happened this week? Or in, in this time? Oh, Robin Thicke wants his wife back. Um, good luck with that, girl. Um, um, Robin, girl, I mean, I... Listen, I've been a fan of Robin since when I get you alone, when I get you, you know, babe, that I've been a fan of Robin since that. And um, I even though I didn't get that CD, it was like I couldn't find it. Like, girl, they didn't really give you good promotion on that first CD. And then I was I was uh, I was reintroduced to you with she's the kind of girl you want to marry. Scientists say that she's the second sunshine, and now my life is sweeter than berries, than berries. I guess if we have sex, our love will turn to wine. Yes, Robin, that was the song, honey. That was the song of the year, bitch. Was that 2005, 2006 when he came out with that one? Yes, Robin, that was that was that was that was that that was that joint. But you know, because Robin was singing R and B. He, you know, he really wasn't giving you, you know, he wasn't really on that crossover, on those crossover tees. So with this last, this recent album that he released last year, um, but you know, it was, it was, you know, they gave him the pop budget. They gave him all of that. And that album was really good. Like, it's, it's very, it's not typical Robin, because the last, I got Evolution and then I got, um, the other two after that. Um, and then I got the new one, too. I got the most recent. So I got all, let me see. Let me check my iTunes, see how many Robins I got. Because I got, I got a nice little, I got a nice little Robin Thick collection. I do need to get the first one, though. Hold on. Let me check. Robin Thicky. Thick hey, yes. So I got the Evolution. I got Sex Therapy. And then I got blur lines. Okay, those are the ones I got. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm 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 current. I love Mia Play. Mia Play. I want to take you to San Tropez. <laughs> yes, Robin. Listen, honey, Rob. If you don't get into Robin Thick before blurred lines you need to like his. Those are some good albums. Like you know, it's very mid tempo, kind of very. You know, you just want to sip some wine and recite poems and shit. Like, I don't know. But it's very that. But I love it nonetheless. But I, I do love the Blur Lines album because she definitely was giving you, like, I'm ready to cross over. I'm ready to give the girls what they've been asking for. And that is that pop shit. So I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. But what I wasn't all here for was with Blur Lines came all the Blur Lines that he was making with his marriage, honey. You know, all of a sudden he was just seen out groping on these young little things. And, you know, girl, you know, Robin does love his sister. So, you know, every time he turned around, he was just all up on some new bitch. <laughs> and, 
Well, actually, I think, yeah. Because <clears throat> I know that picture in Paris where he was all up on that cute little light-skinned girl with the big hair. And she was looking like, get out of my neck. Like, but he was just all up in it, honey. But yeah, girl, I guess Paula, you know, because everybody was saying that y'all relationship was open. And it, I don't think it was because, honey, Miss Paula said, okay, bet I'm gone. And, you know, some people think that maybe Paula is being hypocritical. So how can you be hypocritical when you were an actress and you be kissing all up on these men and stuff, da 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 And for all you basic bitches who think that, um, no shade. Basically, girl, you know, when the when the director said cut, you know, Paula went back to her trailer or went home and to her husband. Like, she didn't go, like, on deja vu after her and, you know, Denzel did that sexy-ass love scene. You know, her and Denzel didn't go to Denzel's trailer or hotel room and bump uglies. Like, no, Denzel went back to his trailer with his wife and, you know, I think her name is Pauletta. And then, honey... She went back to hers, and you know that's that's what it was on um, baggage claim. Her and uh, is it Derek Luke is his name? Her and Derek Luke weren't, you know, weren't seen out in public just all up in each other's everything, honey. No, you know she well was she with her husband and her child. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, she might, yeah, yeah, she didn't kiss some dudes on camera and fake a, a, a sex scene on camera, but girl. Like I said, when the director said, cut, honey, that was it. It was over. The fantasy has, has, is done, <laughs> you know. So, but with Robin, girl, it wasn't like that. When he was on tour, honey, he was getting all that groupie, groupie poon tang and, and, and paid the price. So now he's running around and on TMZ talking about, I want my wife back and dedicating songs to her and shit. Well, it was like, well, girl, you should have been doing that in the first place and not fucking other bitches. And please don't turn up with a baby. That ain't, that ain't Paula's, honey. Because that, that'll really put a dent in y'all's relationship, honey. As it should, because you shouldn't have did that, honey. Um, so, yes, that happened. Um, what else has been going on? Um, what else? I don't know. Is that it? that all I want to talk about? Um, I did want to talk about this whole, like, you know, Arizona. Girl, I was having a nice, elevated thought the other day. We're Arizona trying to pass, well, they passed this law. It's up to the governor to veto it, but it went through, like, their little house or whatever, the Senate or whatever. It went through there, but the governor has to make the final say. But get basically giving businesses the right to discriminate against, you know, people, like, not serve people that they don't, that, that they don't agree with their beliefs. And between that and Florida trying so hard to send, like, I'll, if y'all don't know this, for all those who don't, who refuse to believe that we, we don't live in a post-racial society, America hasn't changed that bit. We tolerated it because <laughs> at the end of the day, the status quo was still that. It was still that, the, the conservative white male establishment it was still intact in a way. Like, we still had a white president in office. You know, gays still had their limited amount of rights and suffered in certain areas. <clears throat> but we were fine with those areas because, hey, as long as they were over there, it's fine. But, um, you know, now after Obama and, you know, with the gays, marriage starting to become legal in different states, and each state is coming up. Like, Georgia's about to be next, I think child, but good luck with that, because, you know, Georgia going, honey, they going, they going to delay that shit like they doing this Obamacare, honey. They are really trying hard not to get this shit affected. Every time I get on my site trying to see what my case is, they just keep saying it's not something's an error, and I'm just like, I'm over. I just thought I gave up. I'm not going to lie. Fuck it. I gave up. I just, I just be insurance this for a while until y'all niggas get it together, because this shit is ridiculous. Like, Like, how the fuck, like, they just don't want, you know, they don't want us to really get, but anyway, I ain't gonna get on that. But yeah, honey, but I've noticed, like, honey, the, the conservative crazy, not, and not, and this is not all white people and not all conservatives, because there are some 
conservatives with some sense. But for these, you know, the crazy, you know, the ones that, like Paul Mooney said, you know, back when white people were in the show, like those type of conservatives, they love that shit. And it, they feel threatened, honey. Like, that's why you got Florida making, you know, making these well planned choices to get to to put out this message that with this stay on your ground shit like I mean look at it like honey George Zimmerman killed this little black boy who was unarmed had every right to be where he was and all that he gets off Michael Dunn um <laughs> they try so hard not to give him a murder charge when he murdered that little boy. Albeit, it might not have been premeditated, even though I kind of think it like, because they said when he drove up, you know, the kids were already there in the truck bumping their music, and you want to go park right beside them. So, girl, for me, that was like, you were looking, you were itching to try it with them and see how far it was, it was going to go. And, girl, <laughs> it, it, you know, it, all it took was, was, was for Jordan to be like, fuck this nigga. And all of a sudden, honey, you, you went to go run and get your gun and start shooting. But whatever. But they, they trying so hard to, oh, I don't know. And then, like, with this Marissa Alexander, you know, it's proven that this man has been putting hands on <laughs> on his on his now, you know, I guess estranged ex-wife, whatever. He even said in a statement, girl, like how he used to, you know, all of his baby mothers, he all he put his hands on each and every one of them except for one of them, honey. He said, all of them but one, I put my hands on. So it's known that he is a, a, a bitch beater, excuse the language, but he beats bitches. He beats bitches. <laughs> he beats girls. And, like, y'all still just trying so hard not to give her that stand your ground when she really stood her ground. They're trying to say, oh, well, the bullet could have hit somebody, but it didn't, girl. It didn't, Okay. It didn't. <laughs> it it could have, but it didn't. And if you want to give her a slap on the wrist, by all means, give her a slap on the wrist and probation. Tell her, hey, I don't do that no more. Something, but just to take her, try trying to give her twenty years. Then when she when they got that shit tossed out, now they trying to go for sixty. Like, are y'all serious? Like, y'all trying to put this lady in jail for the rest of her natural life because she fired a warning shot so her boyfriend wouldn't choke or snap her neck <laughs> so he wouldn't put the paws and snap her shit all up just you know like that's what he was gonna do and he was gonna choke her to death or strangle her or snap snap her neck one and y'all just steady trying to give her 60 years that, that that people wake up they are trying to send all us you know moderate to liberal people you know, people with common sense, they're trying to give us a message, and they are the, the conservative, the crazy conservatives, not all the conservatives, the crazy conservatives are trying to send a message. They send a message to black people. They send a message to, to gay people. We don't want your shit. Like, we ain't trying to have it. That's why Arizona's trying so hard to discriminate. And, and, you know, it's like, and for the people that feel like, oh, well, it's just, well, especially with Arizona, oh, they just talk about even with Florida, oh, they, that was just with black people. Oh no, girl, Arab people, Arab Indian, y'all. Mm. Okay, if you live in Florida and you are Indian, Arab, Middle Eastern, however you just, however you clear, you know, clarify yourself, girl. Watch it. I'm telling you, because you're gonna hear it, and in, in, I'm in a hot minute. You're gonna hear it in the news. You know, oh, Muslim man was gunned down by a random white guy, random whatever, and, you know, the guy said he stood his ground, and that's, you know, he gets off, and, you know, it's the same old shit again, because he was Muslim, and then they're going to try to say, well, he was making terroristic threats, he was a terrorist, just like how they said, um, Trayvon was a thug, and, and Jordan was a thug, and all these thugs, and it's just like, no, they're not, you know, it's like, okay, um, <laughs> gay people too, honey, he was trying to rape me. He was trying to make sexual advances at me. He could have just asked you if you had a lighter. And because he was gay, you you know, this man popped him with a gun. And then, oh, I stood my ground. He was trying to rape me. And it's like, okay, girl. <laughs> so if y'all thinking that it's just only affecting us with this stand your ground bullshit, no. We're just the first group. But trust me, in a minute, somebody going to try something else with somebody else. And it's going to be a whole nother thing. 
So y'all, you know, everybody need to nip this shit. Cause same through Arizona, like, honey, yeah, that might be targeted towards gay people now, but really, if this law passes, like, girl, anybody could walk into a place, and if the if the owner, business owner, manager, whatever, feel like I don't want to serve them, they're a bunch of niggas. I don't want to serve them, they're a bunch of spicks. I don't want to serve them, they're illegal aliens. Or da 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 da. You know what I mean? Like, it could it could it could really go there really quick. It could go south really quick. So, girl, I really want everybody to stop trying to fool themselves and don't get scared like don't be scared to say that this shit is, is what the fuck it is because i'm i'm i live by that model honey don't pee in my cup and call it lemonade like don't don't do it don't tell me it ain't what it is and we all see like i have two working eyes i have two working ears and i'm i have a functioning brain like i know what i see <laughs> and the shit don't look cute so just everybody you know we all need to as soon as these type of laws and shit get start getting put into the Senate in place and uh 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 honey, fight them. Because if you don't we gonna be sitting up in Jim Crow all over again and ain't nobody got time for that, okay? Ain't nobody. <laughs> Cause I won't be doing it. Not me. I moved to Canada before that shit happens. Where you going, girl? Toronto girl. <laughs> Why? Cause these niggas in America are tripping, okay? No, bitch. And all ain't gonna get me. So, yeah. And it doesn't mean that, I, that I'm race baiting. I'm not race baiting. You can't be race baiting when you see some racist ass shit and you're like, hey, that shit is racist. Or, hey, that shit is not right. How am I race baiting? Because it ain't right. It ain't right. <laughs> you tell me how what's right about a woman who was getting choked and beat by her husband. And when she decided she wasn't gonna take it no more. <laughs> this man gonna come up and you know try to bum rush her and she pull out a gun and say listen get, go away or I would have to shoot you and then she fired a warning shot because he thought that she was playing and she fired that warning shot honey and this bitch nigga trying to trying to uh get people to uh pay pay the interview like, ain't nobody trying to pay you for an interview nigga go on some of that <laughs> like, ain't nobody finna do all that sit down you need to be telling the truth you he, he told the truth, but then he recant or he he lied and said, "Oh, I was just doing that to protect my wife." No, girl, you 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 was doing that to be a spiteful ass nigga, and plus you probably didn't want to look bad, <laughs> you know. But you, we, I mean, girl, you I saw what you looked like, honey. You look like you beat bitches. Like I'm sorry, not to be mean. You just look like the type. You just had that. You had that face. It just looked like, oh yeah, yeah. He probably slapped up a girl once or twice in his life. Like he just had that look about him. Like, you can just tell, and it's not because he's black or nothing like that, but you can just tell, like, some niggas, some dudes, regardless of race or whatever, they just look like they slap girls up, just how they carry themselves, how they talk, everything. Like, he look, even in his little pictures, like, he didn't have to say shit. He, his pictures said, ooh, I, I'll probably slap you if you, if you sass me. <sighs> but, it, you know, you tell me what's right about that. You tell me what's right about, oh, you can charge Michael Dunn attempted murder but when he actually killed somebody oh, oh all of a sudden we don't know we don't know <laughs> we don't know what happened how it happened I they just told you what happened he shot in the car he, he fired his gun in the car in, at the car and the bullets hit that child and killed him he murdered that child regardless if it was premeditated or not it's murder he killed him for no reason End of this end of discussion. There's nothing else to be said about it. George Zimmerman, he killed that child. I don't care how many minutes of unrecorded time that that nigga had. Cause the, who was it trying to say Frank Taffy was trying to say with his little needle dick ass? Frank Taffy girl, there's a special place to hell for motherfuckers like you, and I can't wait for you to go there. Okay, I'm not gonna send you there. But when you do die, I, that's, I know that's exactly where you're going. But anyway, but they're trying to say, well, Trayvon could have just ran home. Girl, no, Trayvon should have been followed in the first fucking place. Like, why do we keep forgetting the fact that you, this man followed this little boy for no reason, picked a fight with him for no reason, other than to see, you know, other than to get aggressive with him so you can shoot him. 
and kill him. And George Zimmerman, girl, I'm glad that your life is fucked up. Good. Because <laughs> you know what? You know, because they were saying, like, he was, oh, he wishes his life would go back to the way it was. Well, you know, but Trayvon wishes he was alive. Trayvon's parents wish that they had their child with them. They wish that they could be sitting, like, what was that, 2012, February 2012, when he died? Um, they wish that in May, they wish that in May of 2012, they could have seen their child walk across the stage and graduate. And in the fall of 2012, they wish they could have sent their child off to college. That's what they wish. But they, ain't, they can't do that. So, girl, I don't give I don't give two hot motherfucks about how you feel, about how your life is going. I am good, good. I hope you put a gun to your mouth and 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 blow and blow yourself to kingdom come. Good girl. And 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 when you do, I'm going to do a praise dance all over this one bedroom apartment. I sure the fuck will. And if that's harsh, I mean, if anybody on here thinks that that's harsh, well then, girl. Jim Crow was harsh. Slavery was harsh. There's a lot of things in life that's harsh, but you know, girl, killing a killing an innocent child is harsh. So, girl, I don't give a fuck um, how you feel about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that was my rant. I, you know, <sighs> I had to get that out. <laughs> I had to get that out, honey. But yes, like y'all, pay attention. People need to pay attention, like, girl. Really pay attention to what's going on, honey, because, honey, if y'all ain't careful, they're trying to plunge us back into into Jim Crow days. They really are. Like, some of these ultra-conservative, crazy-ass motherfuckers out here with these code words, thug and Muslim, because thug is nigga and Muslim is terrorist. That's what, that's what they're trying to say when they say that shit. Um, but, yeah, they just... It's just crazy. It's stupid. And just pay attention. And, you know, really, for us young people and us people with common sense, the time is the time has come. We have got to vote. We have got to really exercise our voices. Because if not, girl, you're going to wake up one day and you're going to be trying to go to the, to the Walmart or to the Target. And you know what they're going to tell you? Oh, I'm sorry. We don't serve your kind in here. Leave. Goodbye. And who can we blame but ourselves for not voting and shit? So anyway, girl, I've got to go. <laughs> so I will talk to y'all later. Y'all be easy. Bye. Follow and everything. It's all down there. Follow, like, comment, subscribe, all that. All that, Charlie. All that. Bye, y'all.